Good evening YouTube and uh, welcome to the back porch. It's been uh, probably about a couple of years since I posted my last video. Just, uh, I don't know man, just kind of fell out of the routine of video and everything and uh, really wanted to get into to some different subject matter. Uh, a couple of years ago I was really into, I was very interested into competitive shooting. And now I'm much more interested in prepping it seems. Uh, it seems like a much better investment. Although uh, competitive shooting does have its place in the budget, you know, performing under pressure is a very serious thing. But uh, as you can probably see right here in front of you, I've created a rocket stove. Not the prettiest thing, but based on a few of the uh, designs I've seen online and what I could come up with as far as cans, this is what I've created. So uh, essentially you just have, the, it's about a, a can and a half deep inside, and let me get some light out for you, Quark AA, non-tactical, but there you go, let's see if the camera will adjust, you get the idea, and then in the front here, you'll have to forgive me, I'm a little nubile at this. You'll see the platform for the uh, fuel to be put in and a gap underneath for the air. Inside, I have vermiculite that I ran all over town today to find. Uh, got it at about five bucks for a good sized bag that'll probably lend me to make another good sized stove for a friend. Um, we're going to do a first test burn tonight. Hopefully, everything goes well. If it doesn't all go well, got a backup plan. But I, I am burning fat wood because I've got a few boxes of it and it's, uh, it'll probably be easiest to get started. So I'm going to turn off the camera and whenever I turn it back on, uh, hopefully I'll have a lit stove for you. So well, uh, God bless fat wood and two matches. <laughs> it was absurdly easy to get lit. Uh, it's still in its infancy right now. I actually had to split a few pieces of fat wood down to smaller pieces to get it lit initially. But it's rolling. It's not... Uh, it's not at a boiling level or anything yet, but the fat wood is lit. Puts out that nice black, black smoke. But uh, I will show you again whenever it gets rolling. And, uh, well, I don't plan on cooking on it tonight or anything. Just a test burn for now. But hopefully when you come back, you'll see a nice rolling fire here. See well, minute. I've got a good rolling fire going. You know, when you use fat wood, it's, uh, it's a whole different ball game. As many of you know that have used fat wood, uh, you might be able to see this very large plume of smoke that's going up right now. But uh, that's okay. I ain't gonna hurt anything. Uh, we're having a little problem with the bigger pieces of fat wood weighing down the uh, tray area because it is kind of a small tray and it's not secured in any way. It's just kind of sitting in there on the walls of the uh, can. But it's rolling and it's hot. The uh, sides are very, are still very cool, uh, so no issues there. But uh, this thing burns through some fat wood. It's his favorite meal, I guess. <laughs> but uh, looking pretty good right now. I think uh, I'd like to see it with some actual wood in there, where it's not burning so much smoke. But so far, so good. I definitely think that a uh, taller one, maybe with a two can, two big cans. One on top of the other would be better, and, and I have seen that design online. And it does seem like it'd be a much better idea because the flames are shooting out kind of high right now, and I think if I got some bigger fuel in there, it would probably be much higher as well. Right now, I've only got three pieces of fat wood in there. So, yeah, my first rocket stove, I'd, uh, call it about a 75% success. Thanks for watching.